So you're, you're, you're people therapists and horse therapists at the same time? We do, we do some of that. Mostly our trainings are geared toward helping the humans learn how to do that. Yeah, okay. So uh, we go to facilities that already have horses that they're using, and we help train them on, on how to recognize these things in horses and what to do with those things when you see them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's all the I, same stuff. I, you know, we, we get this yeah. question a lot, right, is how to notice things it's just the same stuff if we're thinking higher level sort of principled thinking then we start to realize we really need to to do the same things for our horses that we're doing for people it, i mean it's quite the learning curve initially <laughs> sure do you have a training program that uh, that you do for uh therapists who have horse backgrounds or yes we do uh and that's what our main business is is training therapists and horse professionals. Oh, good. That are using is to help people. In, in, mm. uh, and a lot of people that we train don't have a degree, but are doing, you know, work with corporations or schools or uh, coaches, life coaches yeah. that are that are helping humans learn how to work out a better set of principles. Yes. So most I, I just, of the time, yeah. Go ahead. I, I was just going to say, I noticed on your website, you've got um, some uh, uh, training people in leadership, which is quite different to, uh, you know, attachment trauma. <laughs> yeah. So most of the people that we train, they kind of fall into a couple camps, right? They're either more on the um, people helping side or they're on the horse side. And then normally you bring two together. So a therapist will partner with an equine professional and they will work together in sessions. Um, and, and occasionally there are therapists who have lifetime of horse experience and, and they may be what we would call dual certified, right? Where they would maybe be trained as a, I'm the therapist, I'm going to work by myself with a client and a horse, right? Um, but the, the principles that we teach and the basic fundamentals of the relationship between horse and human and how that helps people, um, that can transfer to so many different areas. Yeah. Right. But we do right. a wide variety. It's a challenge at yeah. times. Yeah. Do, do the corporate, uh, do, do you get corporate groups coming in sort of, uh, you know, those corporate uh, training things that they do where, where they, they bring their employees groups along to work with horses and get a bit of an understanding of how unrelational they are. <laughs> yes. Uh, and that's a very important piece of it. You know, uh, People burn out in their jobs because they have no connection mm. with anyone that they're working for. Same as the horses. Same, same, as, the, exactly. same as the horses. Yes. So helping them learn how to have connected relationships and do things out of connection instead of task mm. is, is going to keep better employees, going to keep more satisfied employees, and it's going to lessen your employee training costs because you do get to keep people longer and they stay happier and they're more productive. Mm. Yeah, so the people we train do that different ways, right? Like there are a lot of people that do sort of a one or two day training with a corporation where it's a kind of a team building type thing with horses. Um, we've in the past, Tim and I personally in the past have done some of that. That's not something we do a lot anymore. Um, we partner with organizations to do more than two days, right? Where we, we, right. we, we really, because you know, there's, there's this, I'm kind of at the career where this way of being in the world is what we're trying to help people change. And that just takes time. That doesn't happen in one or two days. Same you know? thing okay, we Matt, do with Matt and I. Yeah. yeah. I also met not very much like that. Yeah. We don't go in and just do a training for a school. We, we stay long enough to help facilitate a cultural change. So they start change. to understand what mm, trauma yeah. has done to those kids in their classrooms and make the cultural shifts needed to accommodate those kids and help facilitate the healing of those kids in a school environment. Yeah. Well, if you want to know more about the science of psychotherapy, come across to our website, thescienceofpsychotherapy.com, and our podcast of the same name, and learn more about the science of you.